Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Plague Inc. Evolved Cure Mode. It's time to move on to the Prion, and this is the first disease that I've run into that I have been genuinely struggling with, like, really hard. I've done this for about 10 different attempts, and only barely beat this on Megaboodle one time. There's a certain amount of luck involved with this disease, and it is really rough. Do not be surprised that you're going to have to do a lot of restarts and you will get frustrated. The Prion is tricky for a couple of reasons. First off, it is shockingly infective. Like, really, really infective. Millions of people will be infected very early on. It is the worst I've ever played. Secondly, it has almost a 100% lethality rate. We're talking 99.9%. .9%. So the odds of people recovering is pretty much nil. If you get infected, you're almost certainly going to die, which basically means we have to prevent as much infection as possible ASAP. Because if we don't, we are going to lose authority extremely quickly due to panic and the number of deaths. However, one weird quirk to the prion is it has a long incubation time. So once somebody gets infected, they have a few weeks to live before they basically just conk over dead. So, you have a bit of time in order to try and lock things down. But once you see people dying, if you haven't already got yourself in a pretty good position, you basically just have to restart. My strategy requires that this disease is contained to one continent for the most part, and even then, it is a rough one. If it gets into a second continent, you might as well just restart. I hate giving you guys a luck-based strategy here, except we're getting into the harder disease types on Mega Brutal. At some point, luck was always going to be a factor. This apparently is it. Now, I am going to change my task force a bit. We're going to use Crisis Manager so our field operatives can slow the authority loss in a specific country, mainly because once the origin country gets uh, infected, it's going to get about half of its population dead. This is a good way of trying to salvage some of that authority, as long as it wasn't an amazingly uh, highly populated country. Strategic Fundraiser. Since I am counting on this disease being contained to one, maybe two continents, that should mean I can place down an HQ, and as long as it doesn't become infected, I can get extra resources which I can use to keep my authority under control. Otherwise, maybe global infection rate is better, but this seems to have worked okay for me. Disaster Manager. Reduced authority loss due to deaths. There are going to be tens of millions of deaths. So this can be helpful. Alternatively, authority loss from panic can be important, but there are other ways to try and reduce the authority loss from panic. But there's no way to reduce authority loss due to deaths, so that's why I'm going for this. Then we're going to go for celebrity scientist and forensic epidemiologist. Let's give this one a go. Now, as far as my HQ location, there are several good options. Uh, mainly, you want to keep it in a place that's a little bit harder for a uh, disease to access. That could be an island nation like Madagascar, the Caribbean, or Greenland. And I'm going to choose Greenland here. And the reason I like Greenland is because there's only one seaport of access, just like some of the other islands. And both of those ports are in Europe. So if the disease is discovered in Europe, I can shut down the seaports, and I should be safe in the HQ. Should. But... Maybe someone breaks quarantine for a half second, and that's really all that it takes, and you're screwed. I don't know. All right, now that we're going to get our field operatives with our standard opening moves, we have to discover the disease fast, and I mean really fast. If we are not lucky on this front, we're basically doomed. With any luck, it starts in a place like Africa in a country like, let's say, Morocco or Central Africa, a country that does not have access to an airport or a seaport which gives you a chance, hopefully, to uh, cut, shut down the continent before it gets anywhere else. So far, not found here in Africa. It was in the UK. That sucks, and it's already in other continents, which means I'm just going to go ahead and restart. Now, the good news is, if you're going to have a luck-based strategy, at least it's one where you know that you're unlucky early on, so you don't waste, like, an entire game just to realize it was already a foregone conclusion that you were doomed. Right? So, I mean, that's a thing. Let's get down into, let's say, the UK. We're still looking. Okay, and good lord, just like that, it is already in another country. You see the problem? You see the problem here? This is the problem. Let's try this one again. We're going to start off in Greenland, go for our standard opening moves like so. We're going to travel down to, I don't care, Spain. This is where having the faster EMTs is nice. Okay, so far we know it's in Europe. It's actually gotten around in Europe specifically. Okay, so let's discover the disease. Pause. Okay. Country of origin is not going to be Spain. It might be France since it got here immediately, though. We are going to go ahead and go to Europe, and we are going to shut down the air and sea access to try and prevent it from getting into another continent ASAP. Now we need to try to get at other countries and see if we can confirm that, yes, indeed, this is the origin point. Not France, possibly Italy. It got around super quick. Notice that. Mm. Notice that. What is in my throat? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's try over here in Greece, not in Italy. It was not in Greece. Look how fast it got around to other countries. We are only a few days in. 
Okay, it looks like we may have discovered it in Central Europe. Okay, so it was in Europe. Hopefully this means it has not had a chance to go anywhere else, because we've shut down the ports completely already, except for apparently Norway and Sweden. They're not playing ball. We are now going to have to go for a total lockdown, and then we are going to go for as much of our non-compliance reductions as possible. We need to keep everyone under quarantine willingly. If they are not, we are basically screwed. Looking around through the rest of the continent, we want everyone to be compliant. That's why I have to discover these countries. Also, we can get some extra points by simply finding out where the disease was located. Let's get down to Turkey and see if it got it down here as well. It did. This scares me a little bit. Hopefully, it did not get into Africa. Please tell me it didn't. I'm not seeing evidence it got into Africa. That's good. Okay. Let's go for some more non-compliance measures. We need this under control, so we're going to keep everyone compliant. Also important to make sure that no one is non-compliant so you don't lose authority, because every bit you lose is going to matter. Like, a lot, a lot. We probably will need to lock down the land borders of Europe next to try and prevent this from getting into Asia. It did somehow manage to get into Brazil even though we shut down the ports, because somebody in France decided not to play ball. It is also located in Asia. Dear God. Okay, well, we may be in trouble, but we're going to try for this anyway. Let's shut down those land borders. So we are going hard on the quarantine here. We're also going to go ahead and shut down the airports in South America, hopefully preventing it from going too far into Brazil. It is now in North America as well. Okay, this is starting to look bad. And somebody sent a plane anyway. They didn't shut down fast enough. Okay, okay, okay. Well... We're going to try this anyway. Let's see what happens. We're going to go for border monitoring to try and slow this down a little bit more. We are going to have to go for some more um, authority non-compliance measures here with the 18. We are wanting to get things like infection control. We're also going to have a couple of special abilities here we need. Namely, reassure the infected, reducing authority loss due to panic. Because once people start to die, like as soon as people start to die, which will happen pretty soon, we are going to have people freaking the heck out. Where is this going to be the worst? It's going to be in Central Europe. Let's get there and try to use the infection control to try and reduce the numbers here a little bit. Also, the authority loss, since this is the country that's going to struggle the most. Uh, reassuring the infected is what I'm going to do right now, since we're not currently having non-compliance issues. Most of the world is sort of okay. We're going to need some more quarantines in North and South America. Look how fast this has spread, and now it's in Africa. This is an absolute disaster. I'm telling you, this is rough. Deaths are now starting to be reported. Okay. Uh, not a lot I can do. We don't have enough points to actually get around and do anything here. We're going to shut down North America, since I think they're going to run into some serious issues soon. We're going to shut down South America next, and we're going to try. Um, if we cannot get under control with this soon, we're already dead. Um, the good news is the compliance was taken care of pretty quick. We're having issues in the Baltic states and Poland. Okay, uh, let's go for a lockdown in Asia. Try to prevent this from becoming an issue there. If two... We are mostly keeping on top of Central Europe. The deaths are bad, but not the worst. Let's take a look at our authority loss. The disease spread is what's scaring people because it got around to a lot of countries very quickly. And that's that's what's killing me here. That's what's going to kill me. Uh, we need to get some more compliance measures. I'm also going to need to get some authority, so let's build that up. What we could do if in an emergency situation is use censorship to freeze the authority for a month. But the problem is it increases your non-compliance, which ends up being a major issue. I do need to get the national stimulus. I also need to get reassure the infected. If people would respect these quarantines, we might actually somehow be able to pull this out, but it's going to be rough. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put Africa in quarantine at 13 points in just a moment because I can't afford to let this spread anymore anywhere. So the entire world is now in quarantine, but some countries are going to be a problem relatively soon. The good news is in Europe we're actually on top of this. Uh, a lot of people did get infected. It looks like Ireland in particular seems to be struggling, but they're all dying. And as long as they're dying in their homes, that means they're not infecting other people, which sounds really horrible. I know. I don't disagree. But there you go. Let's go for a measure of contact tracing, too, just so that hopefully we can prevent the spread any further than this. All right, so the world is currently losing infections quite a bit. And that's just because people are dying in their homes instead of infecting their neighbors. Good for them. They are the heroes of the situation. I may need to go for reinsure the infected, too, because panic is now starting to become a problem. Look at that. Look at the lethality go up. Yep, yep, yep. The spread is starting to seriously hurt. Let's go for reinsure the infected. Didn't do a whole lot, did it? Mm-hmm. Nope, nope, it did not. Okay, uh, we can start working on the cure. Do we have any non-compliance issues right now? For the most part, it's okay. I take that back. Russia is going to be an issue. We have to go for this. If we get non-compliance on top of everything else, we're dead. Uh, let's see. So Central Europe is mostly fine. We need to move our guys to reduce the authority loss somewhere. It could be the UK. Maybe Russia. I'm looking for anywhere with really high population that's been highly infected. Um... 
It looks like it's going to end up being either the UK or the Baltic states. I'm going to go to the UK, since they have quite a few people who are infected. Let's go for some more compliance. That before Russia becomes a problem, because I can't lose any more authority. We are scraping by, sort of, kind of, maybe a little bit. Um, okay, with everyone on lockdown, I'm going to go ahead and grab some larger lists, testing capacity, so that the large outbreaks can be under control and people can prevent them from spreading it any further. Uh, beyond that now, we need to go for the vaccine research. It's going to take some time. With any luck, my authority is mostly going to even out, and if everyone keeps under quarantine, the deaths should start to even out simply because there aren't enough people to infect now. Hopefully. Let's go for that vaccine. We're gonna get started there. Vaccine is ready to research. Keep an eye on that authority. We might have to buy another level just to stay alive. I cannot believe so far that I've mostly stabilized the fa despite the fact that most of the continents have been infected. That has consistently been a problem for me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, well, let's see, I would like to get field research. What we could do, what was the country of origin again? Central Europe. What we can do if we can get Europe, UK under control, and it looks like we have, we can go ahead and move our guys here with the field research and get the vaccine going faster. That said, I'm seeing other places getting infected like uh, Korea. Colombia's looking pretty bad. Um, the US is pretty bad. Uh, where am I going to have the worst in, uh, authority loss? Probably the US. Let's get over there right now. We need to prevent that as much as we can. Uh, let's go for some larger test capacities. We also want to get some contact tracing. We're holding together barely. Last time I got down to like 10 authority and then stabilized at the last second. Contact tracing. Just try to prevent this from getting worse. If people are going to die, let them die. All right, the U.S. is going to be fine. Mexico is looking pretty bad. Korea is looking bad. Let's get down into Mexico next. I may need to save some points to buy up some authority. There we go. Numbers are starting to go down as the death rate goes up. Let's take a look at that uh, death rate and see what's causing the authority loss right now. Uh, it is mostly due to deaths right now, and disease spread, 61 authority loss in total. Pretty nasty, ain't it? Would love to go for the accelerated research. Um, we could do that. Let's see, is that the best choice right now? I think it is. I can't really take as much advantage out of field research as I would like, and I'm not keeping my guys parked. So yeah, I'm going to go for the faster vaccine research. I'm probably going to save up some points and get some more authority to be safe. That's going to take 13 points. We're getting a good amount of resources in right now. Okay, let's go ahead and buy that now. Get that back up. So it is at 33. We may have stabilized there. All right, so there's a half a million people infected in the world right now. Korea is still the worst, then Japan. Everywhere else is mostly okay. And Mexico's looking all right, too. So let's get over to Korea and see if we can get this back under control. They're starting to dip back down. Japan actually is looking the worst right now. We may want to move there instead then. Okay. Uh, with the accelerated research, I'd love to get field research. I also will need to get the vaccine manufacturing, of course, but not right now. Not until this gets down to about 10 resources in cost. Otherwise, it is simply going to be too expensive. Let's go ahead and move over to Japan since they're the ones that are currently making issues. I want to stabilize here before it gets a lot worse. I am still barely towing the line when it comes to authority, aren't I? Absolutely barely holding it. We could go for the emergency care and that would help. Uh, just to reduce authority. Also, there's a special ability for the Prion called Neural Enhancers. Now, the one trick of the Prion, one I didn't mention, is that it starts with insanity, which means as it infects people, their ability to work on the vaccine goes down by quite a bit. So picking this up actually uh, counteracts that, so that even though a lot of people were infected, you can have people still working on the uh, vaccine. I don't think this is absolutely crucial, though, because the people who were infected are already dead! So, yeah, not, not going to help me in this case. We're going to ignore that one, I think. Uh, let's go for more testing capacity. I'm just trying to get this under control. Please, please, please. Huge earthquake in France. That's not my fault. Please don't get mad at me. Don't reduce my authority. We have 100,000 people that are currently infected. This is actually looking like we may have stabilized and we're okay. <laughs> Barely. We got a couple million people currently infected, though. Um, I need to go for this vaccine manufacturing. At 12 resource cost right now, I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and get started as soon as I get the point. That's it right there. Perfect. Okay. The vaccine is still slow, and we're still losing some authority, but for the most part, we're going to be all right. Now, there is a weird thing about the Prion. It has one extra ability I haven't touched yet, and that is extended incubation. We use a special blocker injection to uh, lengthen the incubation period, which basically means that people aren't going to die as quickly. Now, once people do start dying, this isn't going to help you. You're already going to have panic. But I suspect, because this exists, it is theoretically possible to rush out the vaccine and distribute it before a single person dies. If you pick up the incubation, as well as focus hard on the vaccine and just ignore 
all quarantines. Everyone's gonna infected. We're talking like two billion people infected, but with the neural enhancers plus all the vaccines plus the man, uh, man, uh, manufacturing speed plus the incubation to delay how long before people die. Plus, you'd have to go down specific routes of the response measures to get the accelerated vaccine research and production. I think it's theoretically possible. I think it'd be extremely difficult, and we're talking the stars would absolutely have to align just right. I mean, just right. It may take like a 1 in 50 chance. But I tried it a couple times since I wanted to see if it would work, and it sort of just barely did. Like, I was almost there. I got to like about halfway up the production chain before uh, eventually the first person died. And once the first person died, you've already lost. Like, it's over at that point. It is completely 100% over. So, yeah, uh, I got really, really close, and I sort of suspect it could work. We're working on the production as quickly as we can. All right. No point in going for things like field research now. Um, we are actually looking okay right now, and we haven't had a single compliance issue. The world is so panicked that we're actually okay when it comes to compliance. I don't have any issues yet when it comes to targeted economic aid. So aside from looking for ways to speed up the manufacturing of the, uh, the vaccine, I think the only thing we really want now is going to be Authority 3. Although, as things are right now, there are so few people infected now that it seems like we're actually doing sort of okay. Like, maybe we don't even end up using the vaccine. If we take a little bit longer, we probably won't have it. Let's go ahead and grab that authority, just to try and buy myself the smidge of score. Just a teeny smidge of score. Another earthquake in Sweden. What are the odds of that? Seriously, though, all the people who are infected are basically just dying. That's really all it is. They're not infecting anyone else. They're just dying. Uh, is there any one other country that's having some issues? I don't see any that are really going up. I think for the most part we are now fine. So we've won. We have won. But you can see how stinking, stinking close it got. All right, we're about to send out that vaccine. Let's go ahead and break the quarantine. This is going to refund a whole load of my points, which I think does help, come on, a tiny bit for the score at the end of the day. It also just eliminates the whole non-compliance issue entirely. But yeah, uh, because this disease is so dangerous and spreads so quickly, I think that the panic levels are high enough that you really can get away with every single uh, lockdown measure in the starting continent, plus all these compliance measures, and we didn't have a single country get up any. Really, what are the odds of that? Only a thousand people left infected as the quarantine breaks, but we're going to go ahead and send that out and try to save their lives. Just a smidge under three million people dead. That is way better than my last attempt. So okay, it turns out, you can have multiple uh, continents infected. I was wrong when I said only one and then restart. But we did get lucky in that we had a chance to lock down Europe before it went crazy everywhere else. I don't know. The prion is rough, guys. The prion is rough. 421 days, only 47 authority by the end of it. That got really close. 47,000 points, and we still somehow managed to pull out two stars. So we did it. It can be done, but it requires an unbelievably aggressive quarantine strategy. If you can pull that one off and then really focus on the measures to save your authority, you can survive with the Prion. And that's where I'm going to end this one. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.